Hey there, Future Max here. I am still on trail. I'm not going to tell you where I am. If you could find out, that's awesome. But we are in a town, and I am made a mistake. So I deleted some videos from this video, which is from Hiawassee Day 10 and the day after Hiawassee Day 11. So there's just going to be a few intermittent random pictures or films that I had from uh, from in Hiawassee, before Hiawassee and after. In some though, the Kentucky crew we met at Dick's Creek Gap, which is really cool. They are a trail magic crew and it wasn't the last time we saw them, spoiler alert. Anyway, then we went into Hiawassee, had our first like real town day, which was kind of cool. We got a shuttle from Budget Inn that took us there, did a resupply, went out to dinner. We went to a Mexican place that was really good. Then the next morning, took a shuttle back up to the trail, went to Plum Orchard Shelter, then, which was a great night. We had a lot of fun at Plum Orchard. Then day, that was day 12. Day 13 is the day that we hit the Georgia state line. And that's, I guess when I, when the videos came back. So it'll be a little patchy, but once you get to the Georgia line, it'll be better. Enjoy, I'll catch you later. Got our first trail magic. Oh, this is awesome. Would you like any? I would love one. Thank you. Take a couple if you want. And you guys are the Kentucky crew? Yep. The Kentucky crew? Amazing. Thank you so much. Simple, just simple stuff. This is fantastic. Thank you. Apple or anything? I'm good, thanks. I just gave one. I've got a question. You've done it now. Alright, sounds good. They're in the laundry in. We all just got resupplied at Angles and are heading back with our bags. Uh, bags are feeling a little heavy and I think we got a little too much food. We'll see how this goes. Oh gosh. Doing our first resupply packaging it's going mediumly but having fun all right roly poly <laughs> we made it Georgia, it's been good. North Carolina, here we come. The famous Blind Gap oak tree. So cool. North Carolina, baby. Lunch break with some more dogs. We have two beagles and two goldens. Great lunch break. What is this? It's it's a sheeter. <laughs> We're at the sheeter. <laughs> there it is. The <laughs> sheeter. <laughs> Hi. 
was a really nice day again today. We hit our first big milestone, which is just got out of Georgia and we are in North Carolina. One state down and 13 to go. Uh, big milestone and everyone was super excited and all buzzed up to get to North Carolina. We had a great day hiking today. It was another just great day to through hike, beautiful weather. It was cold, only like, I mean, highs in the 40s, which compared to what we had is cold. Tonight's gonna be pretty cold. I think it's the coldest night so far. I'd say guess and say low 20s. I'm not super worried. It's The wind's not too bad. It's just a light breeze. So I think it'll be all right. Then tomorrow we hit Standing Indian. We're right at the base of it now. It's kind of lingering over us, but it doesn't look horrible. But uh, kind of excited for it. And uh, we'll catch you in the morning. Going up standing Indian. Gonna shed some laggers at the shelter. Maybe use the privy. We'll keep on hiking. The sun is so strong this morning. So we are up on top of Standing Indian right now. It is really cool up here. At like the top top is on a side trail and the view is just phenomenal. You can see Hiawassee and like everything farther down south. Last night was the coldest night so far. And it wasn't bad, I mean low 20s is my guess. But today is the warmest day so far. So I don't know what's up ahead but it is, the sun is like hot, hot. And it is a great day. We all left camp about the same time. Met up with JPEG, who is another neat guy. He is, I think, from Georgia. Uh, we were with him for a while before Hiawassee, but he pushed on and uh, then stopped in uh, Franklin. And then came back and we like meet him, met him up again this morning. It's kind of weird how you're like, ah, I'll never see him again. He's fast. And then he just walks up behind you. It's happened a few times so far. So we, I don't know what's up ahead. I think it's 10 miles total today to Carter Gap Shelter. Right now I'm hiking with JPEG and the others are behind. And eventually I'll stop and let them all catch up. But the sun is shining. You could see like forever away. The visibility is insane. And yeah, another good day to be through hiking. Catch you up north. So I'm not sure yet, but I'm toying with the idea of either skipping Franklin and going straight to the NOC, or doing like a, a day in Franklin, but not spend the night, just to get more miles in on trail. I'm not sure yet, I was talking to a couple people, but like Kyle, Eight Man, and Honey Goat, I think are thinking about doing like two nights and doing a full zero. 
but like I'm good to keep going. They're kind of hurting. So me, JPEG, and Roly Poly might push on. We'll see what happens. Just uh, we're toying with the idea right now. You know, I think we have like two miles left to the shelter. Just too nice out today. Crazy. Hello, we are just coming down from Albert Mountain right now. It is the 100 mile mark. We are super stoked. Um, it was a lot of fun, just just another big, mi big milestone that we hit. Today is a true postcard day. It's like postcard pictures just the whole way. Like everywhere we go is more and more views and it's definitely the best view so far. So at the top of Albert was that fire tower, which was really cool. We had a lunch up there. Last night was a little warmer, uh, which was nice, but a perfect temperature, slept great. Today we have an interesting plan. I'm gonna see how it works out, but we're gonna try to do a 12 mile day to Rock Gap Shelter. Probably have like six left. Man. 100 miles! Woo! Oh my gosh. Now this is the official 100 miles. Hell yeah. <laughs> Sorry, got a little bit distracted there. I guess the official 100 miles isn't at the top of the fire tower. It's like a mile after or something like that. So we got to stop for pictures, of course. Now, what was I saying? So, we have a plan of tonight stopping at Rock Gap Shelter, and that'll make a 12 mile day. Then there's a shuttle that comes through at Rock Gap, which is like 0.2 past Rock Gap Shelter. And we're gonna either set up camp and then try to make that shuttle or just maybe stash our packs in the shelter and then get that shuttle do an afternoon to evening in Franklin get some dinner and we'll stop at that outfitter and then come right back up to Rock Gap tonight and we'll figure out a shuttle how to get back and then back to our resupply so we'll just spend a couple hours in Franklin and go check it out, get some food We'll see how it goes. If we could get there in time, great. It is, I think, one o'clock and we have five miles left, most likely. Well, I'll keep, keep you updated. So we are in Franklin right now. Just stopped in Outdoor 76. We got our free buff, which is so cool. Signed the big banner. I'm here with JPEG and Roly Poly. And uh, so we got here, we made the 345 shelter. We set up camp. And now I'm gonna head to the Lazy Hiker Brewery. Go get a burger and maybe a lot more. Then we talked, so we don't know, we didn't know how we were gonna get back to the trail tonight. So someone at the outfitter was like, yeah, we'll bring you back. So pretty cool, but someone, we're gonna go get dinner and then head back to the outfitter and they're gonna take us back to the trail. So excited for a burger. I'll catch you later. 
Good morning. It is just another great day to be out here through hiking. I'm taking them all in as they come. Think about home every day. And I know the days are long now, but I know towards the end also, it's gonna seem like it just flew by. So I'm just trying to soak every day in as it comes and enjoy the sun while we have it. Because I know we won't have it forever. And last night in Franklin was a lot of fun. I went down there with JPEG and Roly Poly. We got a, there was a town shuttle, which is really cool. So the town has hiker shuttles that stop at like the popular trailheads at like 8 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock, and 4 o'clock. Something like that. Uh, so we got our 12, 13-ish miles done, got to Rock Gap Shelter, set up camp at Rock Gap, left our stuff there, went to Rock Gap parking lot, which is like a quarter mile from Rock Gap, went into Franklin for the night, then we got another ride back up to Rock Gap and spent the night in the camping but at the shelter at Rock Gap. So it was like a jam-packed night, but it was a lot of fun. Good way to finish off a long day. Then, let's see, what did we do in Franklin? In Franklin, we first went to the Outfitter, which was a really cool Outfitter. It was Outdoor 76. All the people that worked there were just really cool, and was, I think I talked to all of them for at some point in time. And everyone was super nice. And there's a ton of people there that we knew on the trail. It was kind of like in Hiawassee, we saw everyone and we saw everyone again in in Franklin. So then we met up with all the hiker people. We went to Lazy Hiker Brewery. And at Lazy Hiker, we got some food. Hung out with a bunch of other hikers, which was a lot of fun. And going in, we didn't know how we were gonna get back to the trail because the last one is at four o'clock. So one of the guys at the Outfitter was like, yeah, sure, I'll bring you back. So super nice of him for going out of his way to drop us off at the trailhead. We tried to give him some money, but he wouldn't take any. So he also had a really cool, cute dog. That was a collie mix that I loved. And today we're going to try to go for 15 miles to Waya Bald Shelter, Waya Gap Shelter. One of those two. And we got a text, it was like the talk of the town last night, of they're gonna do controlled burns from Winding Stair Gap to Waya Bald, which is a 10 mile section. And we're probably like two miles from Winding Stair Gap now. So we might be like waiting there for a couple hours. Not really sure what's gonna happen. Um, worst comes to worst, we'll go back into Franklin from Winding Stair. But, let's hope we could just get through it and there's no fires. <sighs> Not sure. Keep you updated. Gonna soak in some more sun and keep on walking. Alright, just a quick update. So we are at Winding Stair Gap now. The forest is on fire. They're doing their control burns. We probably got here at like 9.30. Then JPEG spent the day. He stayed, but Roly Poly and I went down into Franklin. She met up with some friends and I just went to the Outfitter, got some food, met a couple other hikers, Matt and Scott, that we've seen on the trail previously. I was hanging out with them for a little bit. And my dog Ivy, spending some time with Ivy. Now we are all just waiting to get back on trail. There's at least 20 people sitting in the grass just waiting everyone's been here it sounds like for a long time it's 4 30 now i probably got here like an hour ago and rumor on the street five to six they should let us in and i think we're gonna be hiking some night miles today we'll see how it goes uh i'm not really <laughs> we're just gonna take it as it comes and the outfitter today pretty bad but i tried on one of their packs and it felt amazing So I picked up a new pack. 
I am really excited to use it and I hope it works really good for me. Oh, catchy up. Hopefully not in the smoke, but on the trail.